Okay, so here we've got a bit of a different demo. So but what we've got is we've actually got two pumps, a 0.75 kilowatt normal dump pump on a pressure switch and a Jojo 1.5 kilowatt variable speed drive pump connected in series. So what we're trying to show here is in the pump's reviews, um, for example, like the Jojo, it actually struggled to reach some of the higher pressures and was drawing quite a lot of, lot of power to actually, um, say, if you want to run a shower at four bar, it's, it takes a lot of power to do it directly from a tank. But if you're actually connected on a, like a municipal line just with low pressure, or if you're connected to a system which already has some form of a booster pump and you just want to increase the pressure in the house or through a filter system, just want to show the difference in actual power consumption that you get. So if we take this Jojo pump, it's set to four bar, and we open the shower, you can hear it, it spools up, and it's... It's starting to go, and we're drawing 1.5 kilowatt just for running a single shower at the moment, which is a lot of power for a single shower. If we then, on a separate line, turn on the booster pump to simulate having, say, a three bar municipal pressure, then you can, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the Jojo pump immediately throttles down, and now it's um, only drawing 500 watts. If we then open a second shower, you can hear it spools up a bit again, and then now it's drawing 750 watt. So we're basically drawing a lot less running two showers than we were with just running a single one on its own. If we then have the, have the setup connected that the booster pump is still going, um, previously we found that we couldn't actually get this pump to really be supplying more than um, four bar as it simply would not would not reach its um, actual pressure target i'm just out of interest going to set it to say five and a half bar which is significantly over what um, what it was able to reach previously i'm just gonna first let's first try it without the the little booster pump on and just see on its own, I've closed it, so it's trying to reach it, but we're only getting to about 5 bar, and it's not actually reaching the, the pressure target, and we're, we're drawing 1.7 kilowatt at the moment while it's just trying to reach its pressure. If we turn on the, the booster pump, however, it almost immediately reaches its pressure, and now, if we run a shower, it's actually running the shower at the five and a half um, bar pressure, but we're still drawing quite a lot. We're drawing um, 1.38 kilowatt just to run the single shower at five and a half bar. So in effect, what this shows is if you're using a pump in a booster configuration, you lose a lot, uh, you use a lot less power to actually do it, but still the high, high pressure targets like five bar over even in a booster configuration, draws quite a significant amount of power if you want to run it there.